Hey guys, thanks for checking in today. We're here on the farm. Uh, we've got some processing to do today. Uh, we're going to be processing our some of our, our meat birds. Um, and right now we're going to walk you through how we do our setup here. So stick around. Hey, if you like what you're seeing, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, hit that subscribe button. And folks on either YouTube or Facebook, you know, let us know in the comments what you think. We appreciate it. Here we go guys, this is our setup. It's pretty basic. There's my neighbor. He's part of the setup. Uh, so what we have here is we have our killing cones over here, a scalder, our plucker, a table set up high because you don't want to bend over, and then over behind the table near that tank is our chill tank. And we're just, we're using a basic cooler today. Right over here, are our birds, they're big, they're big, really big. They might have to fit in a turkey cone, we'll see. Um, we have our our killing cones here. Um, we have one turkey cone. When we process our turkeys later this year, we may have to either make another one or get some more. Our scalder is set at 100 and about 160 degrees. Um, once we pull the top off, we'll put our manual dunker in there. And when I first saw the manual dunker, I thought it was kind of cheesy but it didn't take me long to figure out this is the bomb. Now, the better dunker is the, probably the roto dunker, but this is a very easy setup. So here you go, guys. This is us getting ready to process. So that's our scalder, guys. In just a second, I'm gonna show you how we set this guy up. We're gonna come out of the killing cones. Um, they come around. Start with the center ones, much easier. Last thing you wanna do is drop a chicken in here and have to go fishing for it. That would be not cool. Okay. What the scalder is going to do, guys, is it's going to take the feathers and make them soft. And that softness will allow the plucker to do its thing. So we're not hand plucking anything. So we're going to set these in here until just until the skin on the feet begin to, to get soft. And we'll also check the tail feathers too. So now the we just dump it in all the way under. And I use a bungee cord. Probably not the best thing, but it works for me. And you'll have to find out what works for you to make it work. You want to make sure you get them poked under there all the way so they get some, a good scalding. What you don't want is part, part of the bird scalded and part of the bird not scalding. Time's like, going. Get, oops, that was his butt. Get in there, fella. I want to say these birds lived a pretty good life. They're very docile. They've been very good around the farm. Um, they eat fresh forage every day, twice a day, and they get fed twice a day. With the broilers, you don't want to feed them once a day, and you definitely don't want to give them free range food and you want to feed them twice a day. And one of the things that you're going to experience is rapid growth and with that rapid growth comes abnormalities and it can be a challenge. You can even use zip ties, they're so cheap. Wires, you don't have to keep doing that. Oh, I almost lost all oh, the skin came off. Time to pull them out.
All right, guys, here we are. Getting started processing our chickens. I say getting started, we've already started, right? <clears throat> so we're gonna cut the neck off first. Save the neck. Use the neck for dog. Next, you want to cut the feet off, and that's pretty, cut the egg legs off. Just very slight <clears throat> movement there. You want to clean that, get that bone in there. We don't want to get the bone, we don't want to nick the bone. What we want to do is take these tendons off so that when we're done, we got a clean bird. This shouldn't take a lot of effort. Just do a little cut all the way around, expose the tendon. Better to cut too little than too much. Easy enough. Get our evisceration knives out. <clears throat> I'm inserting right where the bunghole is. I'm not taking it in too deep. I'm going to take the oil gland off. We didn't do that last time. I might do this differently. I think I severed something I shouldn't have. Yeah, well, we got that out. I'm doing separating the insides, guys, from the from the from the walls. I'm gonna reach up in here. But I still got keep this is not opening very well, is it? There's a liver. There's the esophagus. He's taking off the scent gland now that we got the pooper out of the way. There we go. This bird's got a good amount of fat on it. Leave that in there. While we got it apart, we're going to be separated anyway, so let's separate all the pieces parts in here. Take the livers off, which is that right there. Put the liver in some water. Guts go into the gut box. Now the fun part, trying to get that stinking, um, get that crazy lungs out, because they're always difficult. And it's you can't really teach somebody this. They just gotta get in and feel it. So you get your fingers in there up near the breastbone and that's what they look like right there. That's the lung. I think smaller fingered people probably have a better shot at this than me. Feels all clean. quick rinse of the cavity. We had our table tilted so we could rinse everything off and it goes over.
Make sure we got all our feathers off. Now this girl goes into the chill tank. <clears throat> Next bird, let's rinse off between birds. All right guys, the next thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna bag a bird. Hey, what I like to do, we got a little skin here on the bum. We'll make a little, little incision right across here. Okay, take our legs. We're not going to do that with that little incision. Oh, this guy's fat little legs. Does two things. One, it makes it look pretty. Number two, gives them a place to stay in the bag. Covers them up a little bit in case there's a sharp spot on there. And then we can, the bag won't get punctured. I really don't think this thing's going to fit in the bag. <laughs> Oh, we did go in. Goodness gracious. Wow. All right. Next part of our process, guys, we're putting zip ties on them, and then we're going to put them in this hot bath water. And once we do that, we're going to put them back in, in the, or take them down to the basement, put them in the freezer. All you do is just set them right down inside. You should hear some air coming out of it. If you don't hear air coming out, just move your tube just a little bit. Push it all the way in. You're not trying to scald the bird. All you're trying to do is get it hot. Let's take the next. So guys, thanks for taking time today to watch our video. We really appreciate it. As always, if you like it, uh, give us a thumbs up. And if you would, subscribe. Share it with somebody. Let them know. Let them let them enjoy some of our craziness too. Thanks again for visiting. Uh, God bless everybody.